I wonder how much Yuri is gonna be in this game of death. <laughs> Oi, Mina, and welcome. Um, my name is Jisha Anime, and here we are with uh, part nine. I think it says Osakura Fantasy. If I'm wrong, dumb dumb notice from me over there. <laughs> then again, I may be right, so I'll give myself a pat on the back. Well done, I managed to get it right if I did. If not, I'm gonna go sulking that corner over there. I've got it wrong. <laughs> um, anyway, I got my drink. Different one this time. But that's not important. Anyway, guys. Ikazu. <laughs> Let's continue. After an obscenely hard training session, I dragged myself back into the sleeping quarters. I think I've done this the same exercises over a hundred times today. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like regular exercise. <laughs> Shield blocking, striking, defensive stances. I feel like my arm I feel my arms feel like they're gonna fall off. Yeah, mine feel like that half the time anyway. She even made me <laughs> She made me bold, push the powder. I am sorry for giving that dream to you. I'm so sorry, Kiana. I'm sorry. But hold on, I've already got drawn. Woo! There we go. Sorry about that. I had to drive right at the beginning of this, so that didn't go well. Well, we know what Kiana made me actually do for the first time in her life. Kiana is dead serious about getting me into shape for this expedition. <laughs> I'm not surprised. In fact, I don't think she's ever trained anyone as hard as this before. I am actually in agreement with that. <laughs> she must be worried about me if she's going to such lengths though. There's some trauma from when she entered the Myers last time, yet she doesn't want to talk about it. That's because it's trauma. I don't think you're a therapist. Uh, is it raining, okay? The fact that she's still willing to go with me despite her trauma must mean she really does care. I really appreciate what she's doing. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> this is a difficult choice, this one. I really appreciate what she's doing, or I must not give up. I must not give up! Take divining spirit! I can't give up! If I must not give up. If I enjoy this training, then I'll be ready for the Myers. That's true. Well done, you actually fought posit positively railing. Nice. Maybe her trauma is why she's following me there in the first place? Probably? Question mark. Either way, she's doing her best to make sure that I'm going to be ready for the Myers. Damn right she is. <laughs> Seeing what she did to all did to the wall on the way to the bus. I can only guess what, what taking a hit like that will do to me. <laughs> I would I would not like to do that. <laughs> I'd not like to experience that firsthand. Thank you. Gwyn enters the quarters, seeing me pulling off my arm. Oh! Gwyn! Gwyn, I'm undressing! Kiana is working you hard. Are you alright? You can tell by the muscle tone that I've got recently, can't you, Gwyn? <laughs> I'm, such, I'm such a muscular female right now. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It means I'm going to be better prepared for the mines, right? Yeah, I think I made a good choice there. Right. <laughs> it's possible to overtrain, you know. That's true. It's brutal when you realise it. I wanted to ask Gwyn. Why were you so upset before? Did the library mean a lot to you? I thought I wasn't going to ask this question. I thought I had the, the choice not to. I let it go. Why am I bringing it back up? I don't want to talk about it. Exactly. Seriously, I remember clicking leave it alone. Don't intrude. It's her personal matters, it will be rude of me to do so. I remember doing that specifically. Any business I have left in the capital is irrelevant now that the library is gone. So, please don't ask about it again. Okay. Told you not to ask about it really, no, I even selected that choice. Anyway, Kiana has been trying to get me to practice using my gift. Oh, I don't think I know Gwyn's gift yet, do I? She knows the full world, full world of risks. Oh, yes, lightning! I remember now, it's lightning. Ah, oh, Mr. Dum Dum here almost forgot. A stray bolt of lightning means fire. Yep. Fire means a lot of destruction. Fire means death as well. We can't forget that. Have more faith in yourself than that, Gwyn. You need to practice if you want to be able to make it through the mines. She's got a point. I know, but the risks. If there's no other choice, then do it. Just do it! I'm sorry for the mean joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know, I know too many. You shouldn't worry about the risks, Gwyn. Yeah, even Kiana's telling you. <laughs> you have my permission, and I happen to know someone with a gift of water. Oh? 
Yeah. So where did she sneak in it? She's worse than me. If she managed to sneak in it, then she's worse than me with my freaking, uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Uh, it'll come back to me. Force, foreseen, isn't it? Yeah, it's foreseen. Gwyn seems lost in her own thoughts, though. She doesn't even offer a response. Really? Really? You did ex excellent work today. I've never seen you work up such a sweat before. Yes! I'm becoming a muscular woman! <laughs> We've only got a few more days before we set out for the mines. Okay. Keep your training up. Oh, I will! Yes! Well, it was a given that this wasn't going to be over. <laughs> Damn it. Well, if we're going to the Myers, there's a lot of blood around there. Then I wouldn't blame the fact that I'm going to do lots of training. At all. But I can say for sure that I'm going to be exhausted by the time we leave. That's what training does. <laughs> Just stop moaning about it. Even though I don't do a lot myself, I can't really say much. <laughs> for now though, I think we should take the afternoon off. <gasps> Yay! We got an afternoon off! Yay! What do you, th what do you, what do you think? I'd like that right now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> then I guess it's settled. We're going to do something. And I'm still dazzled about what's going on. Great. I'll see you both at training tomorrow. Ooh. Dots. And more dots. I need more dots. <laughs> <laughs> minute after minute crawls by as I stare at the ceiling. Oh, did nothing happen between that time? Okay. Okay. It's so long after my training session of the day. Okay, just sleep won't take me. Despite how exhausted I am. <laughs> well, there's only one thing I could do at this hour to keep myself preoccupied. Okay, what's that? Where should I go far see to, to tonight? Oh, great. <laughs> you know, I have to look into the mind again. Hmm. I managed to make the image a bit clearer every time I do it. <laughs> it leaves me with a terrible headache each time, though. Well, perhaps I can see what Ardenna herself is doing. Oh, oh, <laughs> that should be interesting. I thought about it earlier. Did I? Oh, I don't remember that. What about it earlier? Oh, you mean after I ran into her? You're wondering what she was doing behind the scenes sort of thing? Okay. Is she still the Empress when no one is looking? Uh, hmm. I don't know how to answer that one. What does she do when there is no one else watching? I'm not going to answer that question! No! I've heard that her quarters are in the castle's highest tower. I know that I've been able to look into the castle in the past. Just like the wise, I'm learning how to bypass whatever is blocking me. Ah ha ha ha! I'm finding the barriers that are going to spell the Empress. I bet you she'll notice if I'm uh, far seeing, won't she? If I just take a chance, I may be able to see what lies inside. <laughs> what mysteries does the tallest tower of the castle hold? Excuse me. I guess I'll find out. The first thing I do before I begin fasting is use force of will or clear my mind. If I use force of will, I think it will um, shut me out. If I clear my mind, I should be able to uh, build a good enough image to get the idea, so I'll do that. Clear my mind before I do is the best way to approach it. Yay, I made a good choice. Quick drink. By sweeping away fear and doubt, I could concentrate and achieve the clarity I need. Yay! I do is a good choice. As I summon my courage, I feel my mind leaping my body. You never get over the sense of vertigo that goes with far scene. I, I don't know. I can't do it, <laughs> sadly. That moment before you feel like you're falling through the world. Oh. So basically, falling through a world with no gravity... Nah, that, uh, I said that wrong. Never mind that. <laughs> Until you can catch an updraft and direct yourself to where you want to go. Surprisingly, my vision is like... Oh! Hello, sounds. How are you? <laughs> it isn't clouded this time. I can see! Oh, God, what's our dead? I'm going to be doing? <laughs> Whatever was blocking me from seeing before has disappeared. Okay, bit by bit, my mind swims through the cosmos and begins to form a clear vision. What is our data doing? <laughs> it's blurry at first, but it just grows sharper and eventually focuses. Oh, I've always wondered what the Empress does when no one is looking. I ain't gonna answer that one either. <laughs> As my mind focuses, I see. <gasps> oh, oh, ha! Ding a ding 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 ding! Oh! Oh! 
The Empress! Ladies and gentlemen, the Empress! <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow. That is just a piece of see-through silk. <laughs> and she's standing outside in it. Is she... Is she an exhibitionist? I'm just throwing it out there, is she? Because that would answer so many questions I have right now. It's a silken dress. That barely covers anything at all. Exactly. Oh my. <laughs> this is some serious eye candy. I already need another drink. Whew. That's some good shit. <laughs> Billowing in the wheel, the silk shines in the moon. <laughs> yeah, it caused me the damn censorship as well. <laughs> oh, babe, Adam. Babe. The cold light illuminates her skin too, making her seem even more ethereal and ghostly. I've got to give it that, that's true. He actually does look like that. It hardly seems appropriate for the leader of the capital. I feel so embarrassed for looking, but I can't look away. I can't either. I'm never going to see anything like this again. No, not... I knew it! I knew she would notice! I said it as well! <laughs> she is the Emperor! She said no! Who is watching me? I have allowed you to form a vision so that I make a... Mm. If you're gonna confront me, shouldn't you have uh, got some weapons and armory against me? <laughs> Actually, I think she's already done that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what business do you have on spying on the Empress? The gift of Farseen is a rare one, but I know its presence all too well. Wow! You must have had so many boys <laughs> trying to get to you. Wow. So, Raylin, why are you look at She knows it's me. Crap. Why are you looking at me? A wanderer and I can put you in dangerous places. You should... You're telling me this view is dangerous. I'm all wondering why she's barely wearing anything. Exactly my thoughts! Thank you! Oh. That's what you're wondering. Oh. She read my mind. <laughs> and I then I read my mind. This is my inception. We're all reading each other's minds. This is scary. She can hear my thoughts as well. Just what is this empress meant to be? An empress? Really? Varsity is not as one-sided as you think, guardsman. I can hear the whispers of your wandering spirit. That's why she has a ghostly feel. She's also an exorcist or some kind. Is that the right word? She can see go No, psychic! I think that's the word. More on why I'm here, just like this. I do not so do not see why this is so unusual. Now that I think about it, Kiara wears something similar almost all day, just with just some bits barely covering it at least. And the difference is it's black. So I can't say anything. <laughs> there was a time where we weren't ashamed of our bodies. Oh? That was Adam and Eve, wasn't it? As far as I'm, my knowledge goes in anything. Or rather, where shame didn't even exist as a concept. Really? We did not cover ourselves, nor was there a need to. Okay. Besides, I need the one who's invading someone else's privacy. Guilty. <laughs> I have to admit guilty to that. She does have a point. Why would you? Why would she need to wear clothes when no one else is around? All right, I'll give her that. That's correct. Stop reading my mind. It's scary. <laughs> it seems like a strange idea that I should need to wear clothes at all. In fact, like completely. Oh my! Oh, oh my! I'm not ashamed of my body that was given to me. Yet the council insists that I must be dressed when I go into public. <laughs> she even wants to go out like that in public. Wow. She daring. <laughs> there are times where I get tired of being an, being an empress, but I know I cannot neglect my duty. The people need their invincible empress above all else. If they didn't have their empress, they'd probably panic. To expose myself or show myself is as vul vulnerable as human. That would mean they would lose sight of the ideal that I represent. Oh. 
For every doomsayer who walks the street, they can look towards at the, towards this tower and be reassured that their empress is with them. Ah, okay. So that is my duty to disguise my humanity. Really? Is that it? <laughs> to be invincible, to be undone. So you just want to be a naked exhibitionist all your life? Okay. Okay. <laughs> It is only in these private moments that I can truly be human. What do you mean truly be human? Are you actually a ghost? To truly be myself. I wasn't expected to get an idealistic lecture when I decided to peek on this towel. My siblings have long left this world, but I must remain. You sound like a ghost who has a grudge that is not settled yet. Like Tazogare Otome ex amnesia. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Sorry, that was the first thing that came to my head. I must endure the passage of time for the sake of my people. Wearing a silken dress and staring at the moon. Not having to hide my body beneath layers of cloth and leather. It reminds me of how the world was a long time ago. Wow. Of its green rolling hills, its full moons, its blazing sun. Allowing the moonlight to grace my skin. Let me receive it for but a moment. What it truly means to be alive is to be happy. Ah. Her tone is nostalgic and longing. Whatever she is, think she is thinking of, she remembers it fondly. Well, if it's nostalgic, there's no way you can forget it, really. It looks something similar to something as well, and you remember. It's like, boom, oh my god, I remember what happened. And you're probably going to remember it for the rest of your life. I think that's like psychology of uh, memories. There's like three types, if I remember. I can't remember what they're called. That was ages ago. I can also understand why she longs for the world she knew. I yearn to be able to return to my old life too. Oh, you mean like the old house. Even though the world around me has changed, that does not mean I have to forget the past. That is a nice quote. I like that. I like that quote. I do not think that this is the best way to spend your time, Raylan. I tried to do this from the beginning, but <gasps> my guilty side kind of sneaked in at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> your journey only begins in a few days. You must be well rested and prepared. A spine on the Empress is not an appropriate way to do that. Oh, they for a little bit. Damn it. <laughs> Leave me to my memories. Oh, okay. Shame. I immediately begin to pull myself back to my own body. Oh, dance, a dance, and even more dance. <laughs> Damn it. We're training again. Mm. Oh, so, this is it. We just finished our last training session. We're finally going to be leaving the capital behind today. All that training and indulgence has led to this. I can't help but feel nervous. Start of a journey is never easy. If it was easy, JRPGs would not exist. Point proven. Gwen and Kiana will be with me though. That's true. With the gifts of stone and lightning, what could possibly beat us? What about that water one that Kiana mentioned? Are we going to meet her halfway or something? I'm assuming it's her since everyone's a girl in this game so far, except for the guardsman and the councilman. The non-important people. I just hope we don't encounter one of those siege beasts that Kiana mentioned. Okay. Well, I see it wouldn't help me at all with that. Nope. Ardenna told us she would personally send us on our way. Got my eyes twitching. I'd to go and see. I'm still not ready to face her after what happened here, but oh god! <laughs> she won't bring it up. Knowing her, she won't bring up anything that is not important. So I doubt she would. She'll probably banish me from the city for. Spying on her. <laughs> she will forgive you. I'm sure. She's concerned for you anyway. That's why she told you to get the hell out back into your freaking bed. Either way, it's a nervous wait as we stand stand in the grand training grounds. I just realised. Isn't the motto of what she just done to never let your thoughts wander off of what you're originally going to do? I just picked up on that, and that sounds pretty accurate to my head anyway. Ah, but I don't know, I'm probably speaking nonsense. I normally do anyway. The novices have come out to watch us leave too. Oh, their support makes quite a difference. 
Mm. They're, they're completely silent at the moment. The tension in the air is so thick that you could cut it with a blade. So it's like f f thick fog, near enough then. Fair enough. There's no excitement about going on an adventure anymore. Just a sense of anticipation. Whoa. Well, you, it is going to be dangerous, so... Yeah. That makes sense, at least. All three of us just stand around idly, waiting for the Empress to see us off. Empress, where are you? We're all afraid. I can feel it. I don't know. Only Kiana knows what we may see while we're in the mires. Probably. Gwen and I have only had, only have a vague idea. I know that Gwen is a lot more afraid than I am, though. Well, she didn't train most of the time, did she? She mainly just done the bookworks. She shuffles back and forth nervously, triple checking that she has everything she needs in her bags. Oh god, she's missed perfect with luggage. Great. <laughs> okay. I swear that I see a sparkle too fly from her fingertips as she waits. The lightning. Hopefully she doesn't cool down a bolt of lightning by mistake. Uh, that was my fault exactly. Kiana doesn't seem to be doing much better. She's brooding to herself, her face fixed into a deep, scary looking scowl. She looks proper pissed off, she does. I'd say it, she looks pissed off. Over and over again, she taps her boot covered foot on the bare dirt beneath her. No one says anything. We all know that ev what everyone is thinking. We've had our speeches about courage and reassured each other through the, this whole month. Indulged in our luxuries and finished whatever business we may have had in the capital. But now that we're here, we're terrified! <laughs> I thought it would have been inspiring! God damn it! I thought it was going to be an inspirational bit of speech there, but no. I can't let my fears overtake me though. This is finally a chance to return to my old home. Oh! Is it? Well, most importantly, this is a chance to be, the, be a heroine. <laughs> Only to be a heroine. Really? You're the main heroine of this game, Raylan. So, yeah, that was achieved about eight episodes ago. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hopefully not a dead heroine, though. That would make a good heroine of um a full story, that would it? Reassure. Okay. Reassure everyone would probably put everyone more on edge and probably make me look like I'm more worried. So I'll, re I'll regain my focus, I think. I should regain my focus before I do anything else. I'll need my courage before I go into the mires. Yep. Unable to stand the silence, Gwen tries to speak to Kieda. Kieda, you've been to the Mars before, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, why did I find that funny? A very short reply. Do you think we'll ma make it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, poor Kieda's freaking out. <laughs> no! Don't break down, everyone! Mina, hold it together! She's obviously not feeling very friendly at the moment. Gwen lowers her eyes after Kieda's blunt dismissal. Okay, I won't ask. Sorry. Kiana's the most worried out of all of us, I think. Thank you. <laughs> she looks really tense. Tenser than I've ever seen her. Guides in the Mars must have, must have her nervous too. We've all been told about, told how foul the Myers are and how nothing wholesome grows within them. Well, that's because they're Myers, really, isn't it? Kiana knows all about it first, ha first hand, though. So that means we got near enough somebody to give us the birds and the bees of the of the the Myers, really. So we got a bit of a little heads up. To willingly return to somewhere as evil as the Miles are. I can only admire her bravery. She didn't want to do it in the beginning though, did she? So can you really say that? I don't know, I don't know. If she can confront her fears, then I can too. Yes, I can do it too. Really? Do you think you're ready? As ready as I can be. That's all you can be, really, in this situation. I can't exactly turn my skin into stone or throw lightning, though. We'll use you to scout the area when we set up camp. Ah. You should be able to use your fast healing while you're there, right? Yeah, that's a that's actually a good little tactic. That's a good point. I could fast see into the buyers from here, but it might be a difficult story once I'm there. That's probably because I don't, she needs a definite image of the Myers to be able to see anything, doesn't she? It's possible I can use my far seeing to get a bird's eye view if we need it. Good, you're going to make sure that we don't get lost. Oi! Uh, oh. Yeah, actually, as a use then. Yeah! We got a use for my own ability. 
I can climb to the treetops and set markers to keep track of our progress. Oh, we got some spray cans or something like that just to put to make the top of the trees red or something like that. Markers? Oh, kind of like how the olden days they have uh, chiseled stones to mark the way through forests. Oh, oh god, now I'm having memories of Legend of Zelda. My childhood's been reborn in my head. Oh, excuse me. Why are you have to place them at the treetops though? Because we can't afford to backtrack to see when we where we're going. Ah, these markers are enchanted to remain in the air for extended periods of time. Oh, the oh the markers that stay up. Oh, that's cool. We really have to look at to the sky to see where we're going. Is that all we're going to rely on? What if it fails? No, the Empress assured me that she would give us the means to navigate through the forest. Between that and the beacons, we should be able to find our way. Hey, okay. She seemed really concerned with knowing exactly where we are in the Myers. It's probably the area that she went to before, knowing her. It's nice to know that we aren't going to get lost then. I hope we don't get lost, because as far as I've seen in every single sack of the game I've played so far, we've at least got lost once. At least once. That is the least of our worries, Gwyn. <laughs> there are much worse things that are getting lost out there. Jesus Christ, get hold it together! Don't have a nervous breakdown now. Right. Anyway, I'm going to need you two to. Oh, she didn't. She didn't go into psycho mode for that bit. Okay. I'm going to need you two to watch my back when I'm setting the beacons. Fair enough. There are a number of monsters that wander through the treetops. Okay. They're not stupid, so don't treat them like they are. Okay. As we discussed, Kiada's plans for navigating the Myers. An ethereal figure steps out from the entrance of course we know who this is to the training grounds. Ah oh, dinner! Yep, our Empress has finally arrived. <laughs> Kiara goes silent as she watches our dinner slightly approach us. Yeah, at least she, we know she's not streaking. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Empress. Greetings, Kiara. I trust you have been busy training as always. Yes. We're as ready we are as ready as we'll ever be. I said, oh, you can be. I'm glad to hear that. Slowly, she turns to look at Gwyn. What have you, Gwyn? Have you learned to control your gift yet? As much as I can, you Empress. She's been doing her own training, so that's a good thing. She seems to be sizing us up, measuring our worthiness. You are already... She didn't even ask me! I just noticed that! <laughs> She's smiling as well! Holy crap! Did she smile before? Did the Empress ever smile? Um, you have no idea how grateful I am for your help. Did she ever smile? In case I'm dumb, tell me below if she actually ever smiled before this, because I cannot remember. I so sincerely wish I could join you in person, but I have my duties here. To abandon all these people when they're so afraid would not be fit enough for an empress. It'll make everyone panic, so I understand what she's on about. You have my blessing, and I'll make sure to keep in touch with you. Yay! Both Gwyn and Kieda look at each other skeptically. Okay. My Empress, how exactly do you plan to do that? Ah. With the look. With what looks like a smirk on her face, the Empress looks over at me. I have my means, Gwyn. Ah, uh, she's smiling properly now! <laughs> You'll know when you see it. Okay, what are you doing, Ardella? Now, what exactly does she mean by that? How could she possibly help us out there? We have to rely on our own wits and skills in the Myers. As Kiana had been telling me for the last few weeks. I'm sorry, that smile though, come on, it's like a troll smile. It's like, tra la 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 I gotta tell you, ha 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 ha. <laughs> well, there's no point in delaying this any further. We're marching to the Myers! Oh. Come on, E.T. There's not much I can do to argue about that. Igazoo! It's finally time to go and face my fears! Before we leave, I don't know which out to- Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She got a- she's got a skull, isn't she? There's something clasped in her hand. Take it. Oh, what is it? What am I taking? What could she be giving me at the last moment? Is it that piece of cloth that you was wearing last night? <laughs> is it? As I reach forward, she presses something hard and circular. No, it's not if it's hard and circular. It's in my hand. Looking more closely, I find a strange looking compass. Okay. T a tiny shard of some kind of crystal sits in the middle of it. Oh my god, this, that reminds me of an old kid show um, from like 
mask. That was it. It was there was like an episode that involved like crystals being involved uh, with being the compass to like a treasure. I don't know why I remember that now. Childhood memories are just being recorded here and use your freaking brain. The shard, shard hovers just below the glass surface. Where is it pointing to exactly? This will help you find a star. Oh, I'm not. I would not be so foolish as to send you in there with no means of finding your way. Nice thinking. Even with your far seeing and Kiara's plan, if you were to become lost in the mires, you would never find your way out. She got a point there. The very trees and ground will move against you to ensure you lose your way. Wow. The trees are alive. And the ground is alive. That's scary. I cannot let that way of my co co coincidence. Where did I get? Where did I pull coincidence from? Conscience, you sir. Oh, oh Adam. I don't know what to call myself anymore. <laughs> Simply send you to die. So consider this my parting gift to you. Ooh, okay. Please look for the sake of the entire empire. Make it back alive. The gravity of what I'm doing fully weighs on me after she says that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to go now. <laughs> this is basically what's going for her head, I think, now. I'm going to be leaving the capital for the first time in many years. I'm going to be exploring one of the most dangerous places imaginable. The Myers. A place. Hold on. A place from which it is said that no one has ever emerged alive from before. And I look terrified <laughs> to find a fallen star, which has some significance that I can only guess at. I'd have agreed to this if it were anyone but the Empress asking me to do it. Would I? Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I've seen many things during my time, Raiden. I've known life, love, death. Dang. I know that above all else. Life is fragile. That's true. That is very true. So protect your life. Protect the lives of your fellow warriors. Well, I will. Go now. The Mars await you. Okay. Thank you, Empress, or I won't let you down. Uh, I won't let you down. I'll not let you down, Empress. We will return. Yeah, I believe in you all. She's smiling. I nailed the right choice there. Yeah. So, safe travels. Gokki Gandhi up. I think that's the appropriate thing there, isn't it? I hope so. Stirs are back to us. Leaving the training grounds no useful... U useful... I cannot read today. In her usual graceful manner. There we go. There's no turning back now. Too late. <laughs> it's time to face the Mize. Jots. And more dots. And even more dots. <laughs> and we're in the Mize. And I'm all out of time for this part, guys. Wow. This music is sinister. I don't like this already. Oh, God. Uh, I'm getting too many... I'm having too many memories flow from my head from that music. I just remind myself of an old game grabbed by the ghoulies. Uh, uh, anyway. I'm going to stop levering on. That piece of cloth from the beginning. Wow. <laughs> wow is all I had to say for that piece of cloth. <laughs> But unfortunately, guys, I'm all out of time. So all I can say is, for this video, that is now anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I'll see you in the next video. So does that, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder what special surprise our dinner has in store for us later on.